Now, we'd like to do another demonstration that involves this Tesla coil, but this is much too dangerous to ask for a volunteer. So instead, we're using one of our assistants, Mr. Paul Nahn, who for many years has helped us with uh, this and other demonstrations. Uh, and you notice that Paul has a funny crown on his head, and the crown has little uh, points on the top. And the reason for that is, in case any sparks were to come off of his body, we wouldn't want his, to catch his hair on fire or to burn his head. And so uh, Paul has put that crown on. He's also putting some thimbles on his fingers for the, exactly the same reason. If any sparks were to come off the tips of his fingers, it could burn him severely. And so by having the thimbles on, the sparks, if they occur, will come off the thimbles and uh, will not injure him. Now you notice Paul has his shoes and socks off and a tray of water connected to the terminal of the million volt Tesla coil. Don't do this at home. <laughs> You'll now see why we call Paul Nahn the human voltmeter. very brave to do that, but you notice he's taken the thimbles off his fingers. So to protect his hands, we're going to give him in one hand a discharge tube that's much like a fluorescent light with the, with the coating removed. On the other hand is a 2,000 watt light bulb. Now you might also mention, notice that over here in the audience, there's another fluorescent tube identical to the kinds of fluorescent tubes that are in the light fixtures overhead. So once again, Paul Nahn, the human voltmeter. This was possible because we used this Tesla coil, which is a very large transformer that uh, uses a principle of magnetic induction that was developed by the same Michael Faraday that developed the Faraday cage and many of the other demonstrations that we're going to be talking about uh, a little later in the day here.